We begin with those incredible new pictures just released this afternoon, and they chronicle a terrifying moment inside the iconic Washington Monument, that 5.8 magnitude earthquake rocking the East Coast last month, and the monument is still closed from what happened tonight. Finally, though, we get to see what it was like for the tourists, 500 feet up in the air. Here now is our Terry Moran, who has been in Washington pouring over those pictures. Just imagine, it's an ordinary summer afternoon at the Washington Monument and 500 feet up the observation level. A ranger takes her seat, checks her phone. Tourists head down the stairs after taking in the panoramic view from the world's tallest stone structure. It's 1.51 p.m. Then, with a small jolt, the shaking begins. For a moment, confusion, wonder, and even though there's no audio on the security tape, you can almost hear them say, what's going on? But the shaking just won't stop, and it gets more violent. Here's another view. Dust and smoke and chips of stone add to the chaos. And as the debris starts raining from the ceiling, people flee down the stairs. A woman falls. You can see her feet. Parents grab their kids. The stairs are clogged with tourists. There's fear, but no panic. The shaking slows, but the great monument continues to shudder for more than a minute. A fourth of the way down, you can still hear the building in front uh, above us shaking. Today, we learned from the Park Service how bad the damage actually is. On the inside of the building, we had a lot more stone that came down up, particularly in the top part of the monument, in the top hundred feet or so. So the monument remains closed. This week, engineers are going to rappel down the sides in order to check for more damage. And that ranger you might have seen heading down the stairs, her name is Nicolette Williams. The Park Service says she went back up to make sure the observation deck was cleared while the building was still shaking violently. They are calling her tonight, Diane, a hero. And good for her. Thank you, Terry Moran, reporting from outside the Washington Monument right